everyone, I'm Caroline and today I've got a haul video for you and as you can see I bought a snake. I was in the car boot sale and there was a lady selling lots of bits and pieces. I saw this snake and I thought oh I can think of a lovely project for Halloween with this snake. So I thought mm, it's probably going to be expensive. I asked the lady how much, she said a pound but be careful it doesn't bite. So I looked at, and went like this and I go, ow! And you should have seen the lady. <laughs> she jumped. She said, oh, I was really scared for a second then. She knew it was a plastic snake, but it still frightened her. <laughs> so I got this snake. He's quite a long one. And I've got the perfect project. And I'm not going to tell you what it is. And then you'll see it when I do a craft video later on. So my little snake, Cobra, I think. I think they're a cobra, aren't they? With that big, like, I'm not sure what you would call that there, these big wing things on their neck. And so he's going to go over here and sit down and behave himself and not mess about. And we'll move on to the next thing. And with Halloween in mind, let's move my pot out of the way. There we go. I got this. It was 50p. It's polystyrene. It's really zany, isn't it? With pink glitter on there. I'm going to get rid of that and I'm going to turn it into something a little bit less bling, a little bit more Ooh, scary. So definitely plans for this. And I love buying things like this because you might think, oh, it's a bit tatty, it's a bit damaged. Not quite what I want. When you're buying things like this for crafting, it doesn't matter. It gives you that freedom to change it and you haven't got to feel guilty because you're thinking, oh, I paid a fortune for this and now I'm destroying it to make something else. When you get it like this, you're fine. Right, so that is all the Halloween things that I have in this haul for you. And now we're going to go over to, I've got one sort of Christmassy related item. It's these mousse. And they're little photograph holders. they got these little clips. And I don't want to put photographs on them, but I think they will be brilliant on a project. And I can put a little banner on there. Now the clip is missing on this one. See if I show you there. But I don't want to stick a banner on clips anyway. I think it'd look a bit silly. So I'll be taking this clip off. Oh, how easy does it come off? Ah, there's the answer. Very easily. <laughs> so there we go. So I can put a little banner saying Happy Christmas or, I don't know, some witty moose and Christmas statement. Does anybody know any of those? Happy Christmas, something like that. Let me know in the comments if you can think of a good Christmas saying that includes the word moose or something similar to the word moose that you could interpret as the right word, if you see what I mean. Right, while I'm getting the next thing out, I'm going to explain to you, I had a little problem. And that was last week, I did have one video spare because I'm going away on holidays. And for some reason, I accidentally set two videos to come out on the same Tuesday. So I'm really running behind now. But fortunately, I've had some excellent buys over the last few days. So it's really replenished my haul stock because I tend to build it up until I've got enough to do a haul. In our local thrift store or charity shop, as many of you know, you can get two frames for 50p. So I got this one. Now the backing isn't in, but that doesn't matter. It's easy enough to cut a piece of cardboard to fit in there. And then I can put something in here. I did wonder whether this would be suitable for Halloween. If I put some black over the top, not completely, I won't paint it black, but I could dry brush some black on this and then put some pictures in because if I show you close up, you see the leaves, I just wonder whether the viney sort of look I'll get away with for Halloween. I'm not sure. But I'm sure I'll come up with something. If we don't use it for Halloween, then guess what's going to be in one of my Christmas videos? Because it's perfect for Christmas. So what other frames did I get? Well, I got this one. Now, I know, don't laugh. It's not my style at all. <laughs> Somebody has taken an owl frame and they've blinged it up to what suits them. And it's lovely, but it's not what suits me. So I'll be taking all these bits off. So when you think, this cost me 25p, I've got a couple of Scrabble tiles, a couple of pretty buttons, and this little flower. Let's see how easy these Scrabble tiles come off. Oh, there's the answer. Very easily. And they've got hardly any glue holding them. So they're going to be fine to take off and use for something else. And as it is, I've got the word saying thank you if I want to use them. Okay, here's a challenge. Can you come up with any other phrase I could use out of the letters that say thank you? Hmm. I just thought of that. I have no idea. And you may find if you comment, I'm really going to try to keep up with my comments. But I'll be in France, so internet can be a bit patchy. But I'll catch up when I get back home. 
So there's my owl picture frame. I can either use this as a picture frame. I can take the back out and this and make like a diorama, put a box on the back and make some sort of woodland diorama for fall. I could make a Christmas one. Mmm, the mind boggles. Oh, I love trying to work out what I can do with things I find at the thrift store. It's so much more fun than going out, knowing what you want, buying it, coming home and using it. I think so anyway. And on the same theme, I've got this. Actually, looking at it now, I think this would be brilliant for Halloween. If I put a black dry brush over the top of this purple, I think it was originally purple. You can see it's, what's that word, resin? Um, what have we got in here? Oh, look! Somebody has felted clouds! And I saw it was something in there. I just thought it was a bit of paper, but it's actually been felted. Look at that! Oh, oh, I'm really pleased. I think that's worth more than 25p. Now, I don't think I'll be putting that back in there because it doesn't go with the purple. And I think I can come up with something much more useful. Oh, I'm really pleased with that. I love these little extra bonus finds you get when you pick up things in the thrift store. So let's put that to one side. And that's three frames. So you know, I got one more coming. Ooh, try not to let my frames fall on the floor. And I'll show you my last frame. Now, this isn't to my taste. This is a very 80s or is it 90s frame. I don't like these sort of frames, this colour and this pattern. It's a box frame. I'm not very keen on the dry flower display inside. What about you? Do you like that dry flower display? Would you keep it? I'll be taking that out, I think. Probably. On the other hand, if I jazzed up, well, not jazzed up, if I countryfied the frame, I wouldn't need to take the middle bit out, would I? I could just use it as it is. I don't know, it's a bit bland. I don't know whether it's faded. I would think so. If this is 80s or 90s, it's been in here a while. So let's have a look. Oh, there's something written on the back. I just pick these up so quickly. I never really look to see what they are. This is, it's all Saskatchewan made. Now that's in Canada, isn't it? I think. An abundance from the prairies to let you relive the summer sunshine, the brilliant colours of autumn, the crispness of winter and the miracle of spring. With this nosegay of scattered little treasures, I hope to bring the charm and beauty of the prairies into your home. Oh, how lovely. With all the toxic substances in constant use, the day may come when we glance wistfully back and remember what there once was. All the flora, except for the maple leaf. Mm, oh, there, little maple leaf in the centre there. Um, where are we now? Which comes from Eastern Canada, are to be found on the prairies, to mention a few hazelnut, alfalfa, spruce cones, timothy, tansy, grasses, yarrow, flicks, flax, oats, foxtail, alder, thistles, hemlock, lichen, goldenrod, wild aster, wintergreen, marsh marigold, choke cherry, rose hips, etc. Do not place in direct sunlight or bright light. All colours are natural. Take time to enjoy the beauty of the prairies. And that is by Anken Bodenstab, Framed Nature. Oh, look at that. Um, I can see now there. You can see the name on there, Anken. Aha. Oh, now I'm tempted to keep it as it is. Hmm, I may countrify that frame and leave it as it is. Hmm, nice idea. Right, moving on from our frames. I do love these frames. Oh dear, I'm having a bit of a collapse. There we go. Well, not me, my pile. Don't worry. <laughs> I'm not collapsing. I'm fine. I got this letter rack and it was, there was a whole store of bits and pieces. Most of it I didn't want, but this was 50p. Everything was 50p. And I like this. I could do a few things. I've got some Christmas ideas for it. You could just paint it up and or leave it unpainted if you wanted to and you could put a floral display in here or you could use it for the purposes intended i'm going to do something a little bit different with it because i just think it's a more of a challenge isn't it than just doing this what you expect done with it so i'm definitely coming up with something a little different and on the back there's some nice wood in this for 50p wow can you see how small the pinheads are in there oh, sorry i got black paint under my nails again I'm really going to have to stop painting black. And I've got this. Ding, ding. Oops, handlebars are backwards. Look at a little bike. Look at that. And it all works. But well, the pedal isn't missing. <laughs> but I don't know if it ever had a pedal outside. Oh, yes, it did. 
Well, I got this because I thought this would be brilliant. Oh, I just noticed it's got a bit snapped off the back as well. <laughs> the more I look at this, the more I think, why did you buy that? I'm still going to use it because I think this is going to be such fun. It's going to be turned into something French, shabby, chic. And I'm thinking of doing a bit of a paint job on this, making it look old, putting a little basket on the front. So there's a little something there where a basket used to be, I think, possibly. But put a little basket on the front, put some flowers in, and I think that'll make a lovely decoration. I'll need to have something to stand it up. And I may repair the pedal. And I probably won't do anything to the back because you're not going to see the back. But look at that, it's even got a little chain on it. Can I turn the chain? No, not really. It doesn't want to turn. Looks good, though. So I paid 50p for that. Looking at it now, I think I should have paid 20 <laughs> because it's falling apart. But that's not a problem. I'll work on it. I suppose if I wanted to, I could put that up there, snap the other one off and move it up higher and then cut this end bit off completely, something like that. There's always ways around everything, and like if I need a little bit of something to go in there, I can just use a bit of a lollipop or popsicle stick, cut it to the right size with a little sticky outfit on, poke it in there, and I've got a pedal. So that's a nice little bike. I don't think it's any make. The plastic feels very flimsy. And, ooh, it's a bit grim along there. Could do with a bit of a wash. Oh, yes, I'm getting very sticky from it now. Ew. Let's wash my hands. And put the bike over there. And next I've got this. Now, <laughs> I didn't really want to buy this. We were in the car boot sale and this little girl shouts out, everything 50p. And her dad said, oh, I'm come to support her. She's making some money for herself. So I thought, oh, I'll find something. But there was nothing I wanted to buy. And I saw this. It's, it says made in England, which means it is vintage. And it's got 1834 on a little arrow. I don't know if that's anything special or not. But it's definitely a lamp base. Because you sure, see the little hole? And the, that's for the wire to go in. The flex or whatever. I'm not sure what you call that over in America. Is it the flex, the cord? We call it the wire. And the light fitting goes in that bit there. And I suppose you need to put a spanner up in there to tighten the light fitting on. But the more I look at it, the more it's growing on me. I'm not regretting as much as I was when I first bought it. It's pottery, it's not china. But I think that'll make a nice... I may not even make them a lamp. I may do something else with it, actually. I wonder what it would do up... Th well, that's definitely upside down then, isn't it? I think we'll find something. Oh, I'll tell you. I've just thought. I've just had an idea. Um, I've got this little... What's, I'll use this one. Now, imagine this a different size, slightly different shape... If I put something on like that, I could turn it into an oil lamp, couldn't I? Oh, now you're talking. Definitely, I like that idea. So I'll have a look, see if I got a nice jar that would make a nice, like, top glass thingy on there. And I'll turn it into an oil lamp. That would be lovely. I don't think I'm going to paint this, though. I think it would spoil it to take these colours off. They're a lovely vintagey colour. And I like this green look, too. So, no, I'm going to keep that as it is. So, not the biggest haul in the world, but plenty to keep me going. And I just thought you'd like to see it. So, I am going to put all this away now. And then I've got to record another haul video. And then another haul video. Because I need three haul videos done before I get back home again. So, it's going to be a, a haul evening. And I'm already feeling a bit hoarse. So, my, by the time I get to my third one, in three weeks' time when you see it, I will be sounding very dry-voiced. So I uh, thank you ever so much for watching. And if you've enjoyed this or if you want to see what I do with these things, and don't forget to give me a thumbs up and to subscribe. And I'll see you all next time. But until then, don't forget, happy crafting and have fun. Bye.